Dragon Ball Z Kakarot takes players on an exhilarating journey through the iconic Dragon Ball Z saga. As you step into the shoes of Goku and other beloved characters, you are immersed in a vibrant world brimming with intense battles, powerful transformations, and the timeless themes of friendship, determination, and the pursuit of ultimate power. In this video, I will be obtaining the Platinum Trophy with 42 overall trophies, 28 being bronze, 9 being silver, and 4 gold. Let's save the world from the evils this universe has to offer. But we get a trophy, former foe. Man, who said Goku was a bad father? Not me. Tell me more, a trophy earned. Now, since there are no missable trophies in this game, our first step is just to get through the main story, which, if you know Dragon Ball Z, you probably know the story. Helping hand. Newfound power, trophy earned. I think it's so funny how I can just walk on these people's crops and just collect what they've grown pretty quickly i plow through the story i've played almost every single dragon ball z game out there so i know the story and i've also watched the anime hundreds of times it's nothing new to me and i've also played this game before I can use going around collecting orbs time for us to go to namek boys Oh, here's like the best moment in the whole series right here. Goku turning Super Saiyan for the first time, man. Absolutely insane. Oh my god, it's so cool. Super Saiyan Goku, man. So cool. All right, we have unlocked the Dragon Balls and we actually need to collect these 10 different times for all the different trophies that are related to them. So I guess let's just get to it. He's making this little ass kid fight this grown ass man who just went through two forms of evolution and you're making him fight him. You're an awful father, Goku. Man, who said Goku was a bad father? Not me. And there it is. The end of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. All right, and that is the main story. Now with that, we can finally enter free roam and the second part of collecting all the trophies is free roaming and trophy cleanup. And there it is, bye bye boo, trophy earned for complete the Majin Buu saga. Now I specifically waited until I beat the game to do this. This is the first trophy we're gonna get, heavy metal, collect 100 D medals. And then we're going to get Turtle School Legend for completing 50 Turtle School training challenges and report to Master Roshi. That's already two out of the way. Let's see if I have enough uh, food to make a full course meal real quick. See, see if I can do that. Um, never mind. I, I guess I don't. Um, I'm going to have to go grab these recipes real quick. So the first, I guess, grindy trophy is to complete a level 10 training challenge and to do that you have to upgrade the training station up to level 10 and then complete a challenge in it it's pretty self-explanatory i got all the way up to level 9 and then stopped because I i'm not sure why but i decided to do something else all right guys so, so i forgot to hit record but to i got the, the trophy for summoning shown on five times so now all we gotta do is summon him five more times and we'll be done with that section at this point i had no idea what i wanted to do there was so much I could do, but I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. So I just ended up flying around. I have not been on this game in a minute. I don't even remember how to play. At the time that I'm recording this, Diablo 4 just came out and it has consumed my life for the past like week and a half. I don't even remember what I was doing. Uh, I don't even remember the controls. The next trophy I go for is push it to the limit where I have to complete 10 challenges at a training grounds location with any character. Push it to the limit. I already got a trophy and I've been playing for like 10 minutes. Complete 10 challenges at a training grounds location with any character. Next on the list is Z Combo Zealot. I got a trophy related to this earlier in The Power of Friendship, but Z Combo Zealot requires you to use Z Combos, and those can be done when the bar around both of your party members is flashing this red slash orange color. It was honestly pretty annoying and I wish I had done it sooner. Z Combo Zealot, trophy earned. Perform 10 Z Combos. 
all right so the next trophy i'm going to be going for is excavator for destroying 10 unique boulders um i think i have a few of them already knocked out on the map um so i'm just gonna go around collect the other ones and see you guys when the trophy pops all right after i destroy this one am i gonna get the trophy there it is demolition artist destroy 10 boulders blocking caves this now th literally the post game of this is really just stuff i didn't want to do in the main story so that's all the post cleanup is so it's just me going around pretty much almost 100 percent in the game going for the evil all around trophy next forces us to defeat 20 villainous parties these can be found on the map by finding the red crown icon on the mini map in each zone and of course as the dragon balls are coming back up i am going to be grabbing them because i do need the trophy for completing it 10 times or I guess making wishes 10 times is what I should say. Oh, and I just got another trophy. Who needs a phone? Receive tele... Receive 20 telepathic messages from King Kai. Oh, who is this guy? Wait. What? What is this cutscene? Deborah, Boo, and Majin Vegeta all at level 90. What in the world? Wow. That was intense. They were 15 levels ahead of me, but I still did it. That was that was a rough fight, though. Definitely the hardest one I've done so far. I'm going to save those guys for when I'm a little bit higher level from doing all the other side stuff. I'm just going to focus on clearing out the other villainous parties. What? Isn't this chick from Xenoverse 2? Mira? Aren't these the guys from Xenoverse 2? What is happening? All right, there is evil all around. Defeat 20 villainous parties. There are two more trophies, I believe, tied to that. We got to defeat 30 and then defeat all of them. All right, so next I'm going to be spending some time with Chi Chi. We got to make five full course meals. I don't think I need five different recipes, so I'm just going to go and make these three. I'm going to make one of them a couple times and uh, we should get the trophy. We have to make five of them. There we go. As we were going for that trophy, we got Shenron's favorite for summon Shenron 10 times with the Dragon Balls and make a wish. So now we don't got to collect the Dragon Balls anymore. Yeah, after making those five meals, I definitely needed to do five different ones and couldn't just spam the same one over and over again. Okay, so I made five of them and I didn't get a trophy. Um... Oh my god, I have to make five different full course meals. I can't just make the same one over and over. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have one, two, three. So I have to go grab another full course meal. That's, that's annoying. All right. Now, after I make this one, I should get the trophy. Please. There we go. Only the finest. Make five full course meals. All right, now that that's done and I've changed my shirt, we are gonna head for another trophy. Uh, we gotta complete a level 10 challenge in the challenge room. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And I need a white meteorite. All right, well, I'll be right back again. All right, I got this. Let's upgrade it to level 10. All right, so that's maxed out now. Now we can come over here. Go to, I think it's special training. Uh, maybe not. I think I have to do this. So I'm going to do this, see if it works. And if it does, we'll see a trophy. All right, there we go. Tough enough. Complete a level 10 challenge in the training room. All right, so now we're going to start the grind of the platinum. And it's not too much of a grind. It shouldn't be that bad. But what we have to do is we have to get 50 instant victories against enemies. And the way we're going to do that is just find enemies under our level. So like these guys right here, we're just going to fly into them, hopefully. Oh, well, that one didn't work. Of course, as soon as I want to show an example of it, it doesn't work. Like that. Like that. We just fly right into them. We should get the instant victory. And we can only do this on enemies with the blue aura around them because they are a lower level than us. We can't do it with the ones with the yellow or red because it won't work. And like I said, we got to do 50 of these things. So, I mean, I'm just going to get right to it. Oh, man, this whole time I was recording, I did not have my ring light on. I'm so sorry. 
I really wish there was a tracker to show how many instant victories I have gotten because I don't know what I'm at right now and I don't know how much more I need to do. Oh my god, how many more do I need to do? To say this was stressful was an understatement. This took me almost two hours. By far the worst trophy in the game and 100% the most time consuming. Oh! Oh my god! There it is! Get 50 instant victories. Oh my god, I did it. Holy. That was so boring and annoying. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finish uh, killing off these villainous parties. Because uh, we need to get a trophy to kill 30 of them. Or defeat 30 of them, rather. So I'm going to do this real quick. Purging the plague. There we go. Defeat 30 villainous parties. All right, so the next trophy we're going to be going for is we're going to be building the hover car and the bipedal robo walker. And those trophies are called let the building begin for just building a simple machine part. Get out of my head and turn into my car for building the hover car. And then robot rider for building the bipedal robo walker. So I guess let's just get right into it. And I think I have all the materials to make it. Um, so I'm just going to. Go ahead and get get to these and we're going to get a trophy right here. Let the building begin. I figured I would save this one for last because I knew I would have most of, if not all the parts. And it looks like I have all of them. So we're going to build the hover car, get get out of my head, turn into my car, build a hover car. And then we're going to get the trophy for building the bipedal robo walker. All that's left is to deal with the remaining villainous parties and take on the secret boss of the game, Mira. And let me tell you. He's definitely not easy. He has so much HP. Granted, I was about 20 levels under. All right, there's one health bar gone. We're almost there. It's almost over. Mira, go back to your timeline. Get out of here. There it is. Down with the demon realm. And Dragon Ball Master, trophy earned, we did it. Obtain all trophies. Man, go back to Xenoverse 2. Go back to your timeline. We did it. Every single trophy, at least for the base game of Xenoverse 2. Xenoverse 2, Kakarot. Yeah, we're done. It was fun. I, I enjoyed it a lot, actually. Besides the 50 perfect finishes or auto wins or whatever they were called that was annoying but other than that it was good i did enjoy it i love dragon ball z so i was gonna enjoy it either way all right guys thank you for joining me in another video if you liked it don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new comment share do all that fun stuff i really appreciate it and it helps the channel out a lot and yeah i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching